Okay, just about everybody gets stuck on this one. But the key to this one is we don't want to overthink. So we want to use go to banana to collect all the bananas. At this point, we're used to using for loops and shortening things, but we're going to have to get into our indexing here. And they've done most of this for us, right? They filled out our go to function. They've got the bananas in the order we're going to collect them. I assume they, you know, did what makes the most sense. So they've put them in the order we want. In here, instead of a specific banana, we want to put the word index, right? So go to bananas, we're going to use the index. And the index is how, the indexing is how we organize our um, objects within an array. So we're setting this up so that we're using the go to function to collect all the bananas. It's almost like a for loop, but we're just using arrays and indexing because what we're saying is use the go to, turn to, step distance to, but do it in this order. So that will collect them in the order that you won't fall in the water or get stuck. Kind of, well, definitely totally different from anything you've ever done, but it, it's another way to use arrays and indexing and worth looking at.